Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. And with this, your discretion is advised. As for the relationships I talked about earlier, my parents and the friend I made as a VTuber. As for my friend, that's something that I want to do, but I need to think about it more. I'll let you know once I've found my answer. I want you to be there with me. Of course. Actually, there's something that I need to do first. Oh, Makoto expression suddenly shifts from embarrassment to serious. Yeah, what is it? You can see that Makoto is struggling to get her words out. I can only assume that this is something serious. Do you remember that friend I mentioned yesterday? The way to a friend I made while I was starting out? Yeah. I'm going to call her. <gasps> can can I ask you to be here with me? You see that Michael was visibly shaking. Knowing her and what she told me yesterday, this must not have been easy to decide to do. I want to ask her if it's too soon. I can already see that she's found found the resolve. Of course. Thanks. Makoto slowly reaches for her phone and unlocks it. Her hands are shaking as she navigates through her phone to find the right contact. Makoto takes deep breaths, though her unsteady. Her finger stops moving and her eyes fill with what I can only describe as fear. <laughs> I haven't even pressed the button to call yet. And I already feel like I'm about to throw up. Makoto's breathing gets loud as she looks to be overwhelmed by fear and anxiety. I walk to Makoto and take her free hand and put it between mine. Her fingers feel cold against my palms, but I can see that her shaking is abating slowly. Thanks. It's okay. Take your time. No, I need to do this now. She just finished her stream, so she should still be around. Makoto takes a deep breath and firmly grasps my hands with hers. She pushes the button to call with the thumb of her other hand. Makoto's grasp gets tighter as her phone starts ringing. Her hand is shaking more than before. I hold my breath as I listen for the call to get picked up. Every individual ring is the only thing both of us can focus on. Just when I think I would hear a voicemail, the ring stops. The call was picked up. Makoto? Makoto flinches at the voice, her eyes filled with genuine fear. Makoto swallows and gathers her courage. Aika? They know each other's real names? Yes, they were pretty close. Y yeah, what's wrong? It's been a while since we've talked, hasn't it? Aika, I... I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Makoto? What, what are you apologizing for? Hey, I shouldn't have been me. I should have been you. I didn't deserve any of the intention I got as a VTuber. I know how much you wanted it. You were always there for me. But I couldn't do anything for you. I only ended up hurting you. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. No, Makoto, no. What are you saying? It's my fault for getting you involved with someone like me. All I ever did was really lie on you, and I couldn't do anything for you in return. You have every right to hate me. Makoto! Uh, how, how, how could I ever hate you? In the back of my mind, I did feel jealous, and I hated that I did. But above that, I felt so happy for you as a friend that you were succeeding. I valued our friendship more than any amount of pain that those ugly feelings of jealousy would bring. You were more important to me than all that, Makoto. So please, don't blame yourself. I could never, ever hate you. Why? I deserve to be hated. Why does everybody keep showing me such kindness? Why don't you get angry with me and me? Why don't you resent me? It would be so much easier that way. Makoto. If you've never done anything deserving uh, of my hate, please, please don't say that. 
You're my precious friend. How could I hate you? I can I'm so glad. I'm so, so glad. You start flooding down Makoto's face. Unable to hold it any longer, Makoto starts sobbing uncontrollably. I continue to hold Makoto's head, unable to hold back my own tears. M Makoto, you're such a dummy. Such a big dumb. Those of Aiko's own crying starts emanding from Makoto's phone. I got there's a lot of crying. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, Makoto. She didn't hate you after all. You were laughed all along. I'm so glad. Put my arm around Makoto and hold her close as she continues to sob. I don't try to stop my own tears of happiness from being shed. See, Makoto, you deserve to be loved. Something connect. <laughs> after some time, Makoto and I can calm down. Makoto's eyes are still red and she's still sniffing, but she's able to speak now. Sorry, Makoto. I never knew what you were going through. I actually thought the same as you, that maybe you hated me because I was in the wrong. I don't think I could hate you no matter how hard I tried. You're such an amazing person who was always there for me. No, I wasn't there for you when you needed it most. I can't imagine what you've been going through. That's it, I've decided. Eh? You and me, we're going to catch up on everything we've missed out on by not talking to each other for the past few months. But after all, I've done. I don't deserve... No, what? I'm not taking no for an answer. I've decided I don't want us to be separate like before again. I want us to be there for each other. I know that that will be inevitably the thing that we don't like to think about and that will create distance between us. Let's be able to talk it out and share our feelings, okay? I... Marcus was being overpowered by some radiant energy. I couldn't really tell before but I got us seem like a bright person. I squeeze Makoto's hand and she turns her head to me. I know she's likely thinking if it's okay to accept Aiko's kindness, despite her own perceived undeservedness. Give her a smile and nod to tell her that the answer she's already come to uh, is okay to accept. Okay, thank you Makoto. I'm so happy. Aiko's voice trails off, so she starts to choke up again. Let's make lots of memories from here on out, okay? Let's have a sleepover sometime where we'll talk our, our hearts out. We'll eat lots of good food together and love together. We also struggle and hurt each other. Well, that's okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to hearing about everything that's happened. Have you learned how to not make your ex explode yet? Hey, that was one time! Makoto lets out an unconstrained laugh, as if to try and make up for the loss that she's missed out on. I hear a faint voice come from Makoto's phone. Oh, my little brother coming me. Makoto, let's catch up later tonight, okay? Yeah, I'll call you later tonight. Thanks for everything. <laughs> I should be the one thanking you. Bye bye. See you later. Makoto hangs up the call and immediately collapses onto me in exhaustion. She leans her head against my chest while I support the rest of her body. I'm happy for you. She didn't hate you after all. Yeah, I'm so glad. Sorry, let me stay like this for a bit. Of course, take your time. My heart is beating uncontrollably in response to Makoto's body leaning against mine. I'm sure she will be able to feel how fast my heart is beating, but I don't care at this point. I just want to stay here like this, able to support her. Old friendships connected. Makoto sits across from me, filling her mouth with hamburger steak. Mm. Makoto and I have some catching up to do tonight. I probably shouldn't hold Makoto here too long. I guess I've kind of had her myself for the past few days, after all. Hmm? Bayer is staring at me again. You seem to like looking at me easy a lot. Sorry, does that make you self-conscious? A little. 
Sorry, sorry. I was just thinking to myself. Do you have anything that you're wondering about? Well, I guess I do about some other unrelated stuff. But I was just thinking that I shouldn't keep you here too long to myself. You should take time tonight to talk to Aika. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. You have plenty of time now. I want to catch up. You have me all to yourself right now. Wow, I feel honored. You should. Now, what other unrelated stuff were you wondering about? Uh, there are real questions I was just thinking about in my own time. Probably better not to ask. You fought with your stick again, huh? <laughs> well, now you're making me curious. I'm going to keep poking at you until you ask. Okay, okay, fine. Um, how do you feel about people drawing explicit material of you as... You know. Marketo stares at me for a few seconds before breaking into Proto. That's what you were wondering? <laughs> well, it's fine, isn't it? My son is hella cute, after all. I mean, as well, yes. As Makoto, yes. Brain for a second! <laughs> Also, a little something here, if, if you ever wondered. Um, explicit material of me is okay. End of... End, and Ronica too. Just saying. You, you don't feel ashamed in any way? I mean, maybe there's a hint of that. But I've long since accepted that people would draw their own fan content of me like that. Nah. It's definitely not the same as if... Ha is as if it happened with me as Makoto. We can't impure thoughts. <laughs> One perverted mind can f can knows what the another perverted mind can think. Oh, were you thinking dirty thoughts? No, stop it. Makoto breaks out into laughter again. I'm surprised she's ever been able to continue eating like that. Also, another thing is about this, um... Ronica x Roman, no, please. That is all I'm gonna say. Roman x Ronica, though. That is a question. Especially the question is if a uh, of 2 Romana or uh, Star Real Romana. I mean, both are tall. Both are tall. What's your reason for asking about this explicit content? Have you... <laughs> have you... Have you wanked it already? <laughs> I saw choking on the water I was drinking. <laughs> Understandable. I mean, it's even weirder now that... Basically, you have the fab material right in front of you. <laughs> and now it's 100% realistic. <laughs> Mmm. My girl doesn't hold back in this time. Just clutching at her stomach because she's laughing so hard. I look around our table to see if anybody is giving us any funny looks. Thankfully, the restaurant is fairly empty, but the waitress is uh, giving a look of concern at Makoto. Alright, alright, calm yourself before they come over to our table. Makoto is still catching her breath. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good. I kind of want to know the answer to the question, though. So, Shuma. Did you wank or did you not wank? No, I'm not telling you. I'll take this knowledge to my grave. Isn't that basically a yes, then? I interpret it as you... It as you will. It's okay, you're a healthy young boy, and I know that my model is quite cute. Nothing wrong with indulging in that. I'm not offended or I creeped out. Makoto starts laughing to herself again, barely able to muster her breath. From before, I knew I shouldn't have asked. I guess I'm glad at least that she's showing so much more life than I think I've ever seen from her. Brief, Makoto. Brief. Okay. Can I ask you a few question myself? Will your question involve my masturbation habits again? 
Nope. Thank you. It's okay. It's actually kind of an unpleasant question to ask. And not in a joking way. Uh, sure, fire away. Does it bother you if the female VTuber you watch interact with guys? Like if I'm unaware to theoretically call up with other male VTuber. Huh. The question that I'm wondering about basically everybody in Holo Life. Or actually, everybody, back when Holo Tempest was a thi was starting to be a thing. Especially the first collab with Kelly. That was the f that was that is very interesting. What did what does this game tell us? Oh, sorry if it makes you uncomfortable. But I want to know. This isn't specifically about male viewers with female streamers. It all depends on the person on the situation. I'm curious about how people feel about streamers they might be attracted to. I've been thinking about what I want for myself in the future, and about our conversations yesterday, the relationship between streamer and viewer. Even if I take all the precautions to prevent people from developing an unhealthy relationship with me, I still feel like there might be problems, particularly with how people might naturally feel towards streamers despite their own mindset to maintain a healthy relationship. I see. For me, it depends. For me, it depends. Some VTubers, I don't have any problems with them doing that. I think for most VTubers, I have a healthy mindset of support for them. I just want to be able to support them and I don't mind if they don't get their attention. Okay. And I definitely do not have any ounce of romantic interests for them. Shoma, you're a good boy. But for some others, I think I naturally try to frame them in the concepts of being a romantic partner, even if I don't want to think of them like that. It's a lingering feeling in the back of my mind when I watch them. Kind of disgusting, isn't it? Fans should just be supporting the VTuber they, the best they can. But I just instinctively try to reduce them to someone that should be reliant on my own affection. I don't know, can you really blame people if they can't help it? I'm sure I could help it somewhat, but maybe there's just something wrong with me. Don't say that. I can see what you mean. There's that twinge of discomfort when you see it happen. I don't know if I can bring myself to condemn people just for feeling that way. But to act on it and express negativity towards to a streamer because you feel that way? That's just selfish. Atlas? Yeah. Such a common occurrence as well. You see VTubers get hit with negativity all the time for collabing with people of the opposite gender. It really is selfish to act on own, own discomfort and lash out at someone when they aren't even doing anything wrong. Or what? Just to make themselves feel a bit better? To ensure that they don't feel uncom uncomfortable again, even if it's at the expense of another person's freedom and feelings. It's just, I don't even know how to describe it. I want with all my heart for people to have the freedom to express themselves the way they want and be accepted. Why does it have to be inevitable that some people are going to be upset if someone wants to do that? I know that nobody can appease the world, but I hate the part of having to uh, alienate, al 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 alienate gee, bit. If I, people, if I can, if I continue to pursue something I wanted. In a way, you could see it as uh, alienating the people that you wouldn't want as a part of your community. Those people who are willing to spread negativity for such a selfish reason might not be the type of people you want to surround yourself with. But it's not just that. What if I were to suddenly start collabing with a bunch of male VTubers? Even if I don't consider the people that would suddenly start spreading negativity, wouldn't there be people who don't express anything but still feel com discomfort? The answer to just ignore all of that? Just to do whatever I want? I... I think so. Those feelings... are inherently selfish and creepy. 
I don't think you should hold yourself back just because the minority feels that way. What about your own feelings? I can just ignore the fact that I might be upsetting people or causing discomfort. Like I said, those feelings are for, for selfish reasons. There's no reason why you should prevent yourself from doing something you want to do because of it. You should think of it about yourself more. That's what I should be saying. You're not thinking enough about yourself. No, I thought about myself enough. My girl noticed the paint look on my face and immediately calms her for self down. Sorry, this probably isn't the most pleasant conversation for you. No, don't apologize. I think it's better to have this conversation. I've just been thinking about these things lately. I want to be, meet new people and seek new opportunities in the future. But that might mean I put myself in a situation that would upset some people. I totally get that and support that. Sorry, I don't know if I have a clear answer for you. I just think, as a viewer, the VTuber should be able to express themselves the way they want. And their fans will match and support that. Like you said, it's impossible to appease everybody. It would be ideal if people could be more empathetic and not lash out at VTubers beside because they don't like what they see. Looking at you, Twitter! But never the, the highlight video is getting out of for, 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 for this stream. Boy. Okay, actually not highlight video. I mean playthrough video. The people on Twitter will... Mm, never mind, but I, I want to think about it. And also, if people don't didn't feel discomfort in the first place, and it's something that's so normal, it's in acting with someone of the opposite chin. But I don't think those are worth restricting yourself for. Makoto lets out a long sigh, and she sinks into the back of her heart seat. Why can't things be simple? Maybe we are just making it more complicated than it is. Humans are complicated. And this is part of it. Maybe. I think it's great that you're opening up to those opportunities though. Not just with VTubers, at the opposite gender, but collabing in general. I'm excited to see how fun those streams will be. Thanks. So, would it bore you if I call up with a male VTuber? Uh, I mean, no matter how I feel, I don't want to restrict any of the activities you do. Honestly, I'd probably feel a twinge of jealousy, but I wish I could just watch it without those feelings. Don't change your mind just because I said it. Don't worry, I still have a solid grasp of what I want to do. But you know, I would probably feel a bit jealous as well if you watched other female VTubers. Eh? Michael quickly clears her throat. I know it's a bit selfish to feel that way, but that's just how I naturally feel. Likewise, don't change your viewing habits because I said that. Don't worry about that, I already watched all of your streams before anybody else. Says, good, good. I grant you honorably honorary status of some mana fan. Wait, was I not a mana fan before? Anyway, he's changing the subject. Thinking about it, I'm not really looking forward to all the tiresome aspects of collabing. Having to put myself out there and getting to know people for, or asking to collab. I don't know. I don't really want to bother the others. <clears throat> I think it's fine to say to myself. But there are so many awesome people out there, I want to get to know them. But there are so many problems that come up, come with it. Like worrying or talking into consideration, comparative fame. Not that smaller VTubers are inferior. Hi! But if I were to come up with a relatively less than known one, it can bring unwanted hate towards them. Yep, that is sadly the truth. Like people saying they're just trying to leech off another person. And I could also get people trying to ask me to collab because they're trying to get something out of me rather than wanting to get to know me. Yep, that is the other side of the coin. I mean, there's technically also a third side of the coin, which is, well, getting to know them. Know the other, the collab partner. 
I'm sure there are a lot of worries from their perspective as well. I wish I didn't have to worry about all that stuff. Yeah, that honestly sounds like a huge hassle. I find myself asking why things can't just be simple and straightforward pretty often nowadays. Hang in there. Don't worry, I find a balance between doing what I want and considering how my viewers feel. I just have to think about things some more and actually see how I like doing things in the future. I have absolute confidence that you'll be able to find that balance. Take your time, my mana friends will always be there for you. Thanks. I'm happy that we had this conversation. I also don't know if this if it's the right thing to be transparent about these kinds of ugly feelings. But I think I'm glad that we are both aware. I think so too. Maybe it's better if these kind of things are left in our minds. I want to be as honest with myself as possible. I want both myself and Makoto to be able to accept all of me. All my ugliness, flaws and mistakes. Do you want to get going now? Sure. Collab. Connect.